just get this and check it out. Now, holy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I could tell y'all this, man. If any of these dudes that's accused and charged with the killing of FBG Duck get less than 25 years, trust me, it's a miracle. Now, the feds unsealed an indictment that showcased the mountains of evidence they got against these guys. And the first thing I thought to myself, why isn't every murder solved in Chicago? Because after you hear about the mountains of evidence they got against these guys, it's no way they could get out of this case. Now, first and foremost, they pretty much detail a 15 minutes uh, of chaotic scene where basically FBG Duck, he goes to like this opulent area. Okay, it's this rich part of Chicago. It's called like the Gold Coast, right? He goes shopping for his son. Now, he goes shopping for his son and apparently goes with his girlfriend and some other person, I think, too. Hops out the car and he's waiting online. All right, well, first big mistake. You know, you shouldn't be waiting online when you got someone's beef. Well, I get it. Now, he's probably thinking he's in a safe part. He doesn't, like, there's no ops that's going to have money to buy stuff, so they're probably won't going to be around. He's standing online. Now, this is where I'm going to tell you what I know happened, okay? What I mean, what I, what I know happened, because it's the only thing that connects the next information the police gave. Somebody tipped off the guys at O-Block that FBG Duck was there because the police say simultaneously, as soon as Duck gets online, the surveillance footage, like, a minute later, tracks in the surveillance footage from O-Block tracks a bunch of dudes running down the fucking stairs like wild hyenas to two cars outside basically they were running down to the cars to go pull up on fbg duck so fbg duck is waiting online okay instantly and you got somebody made a call right duh like you know i mean they, they don't have like they don't have access to cameras how do they know that duck was there somebody made a call now they hop in two cars one's a chrysler one's a ford fusion Muwap is in Ford Fusion, and this other guy who they keep referring to as Liggins, okay, he's in the um, uh, um, Chrysler, all right? And basically, his name is C. Murder. C. Thing is also, uh, I, I believe, in one of the vehicles as well. And here's the thing what happens. They're saying that these two cars get on a goddamn NASCAR speed race type of timing, running through all type of red lights, going through intersections, and it's all being captured on camera. So it was caught eight times, no, seven times on camera, them racing to get to the spot where FBG Duck is at. FBG Duck is there, not even realizing that dudes are on their way to come kill him. Now, when they get there, they hop out the car, they start shooting. FBG Duck tries to duck behind the car. Um, he's shot allegedly 21 times. The medical examiner said it was 16. However, his girlfriend was shot a couple times in the hand, and the other person with him was actually shot up bad and put in um, critical condition, okay? Now, here's the funny thing about it. The vehicle that they just took from O-Block straight to the murder scene, they then hop back in those same vehicles and drive it right back to O-Block, okay? Surveillance footage catch those guys get back in the car and drive it right back to O-Block. Now, they try to move one of the vehicles the day after, and clearly police kind of knew what was going on because they towed that vehicle the day after. Also, guess what they found in the vehicle? They found a handwritten note that had the guy uh, Liggins, his name and Instagram name and Facebook name and, like, baby mama name on it. It looked like, you know, he was, like, keeping, like, a little notepad of, like, everything he needed. I don't know why he didn't, like, put it in his notes on his phone, but there's a handwritten note pretty much, like, it's, like, basically leaving the murder scene or the murder car with your autograph, okay? Now, they took that, they did all of the, the, um, the, 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 the ballistics, they matched those vehicles. Not only do they, have, do they have surveillance footage, they match the vehicle, right, with all the ballistic evidence, which means spent shells found, okay? So the casings that they found in between the windshield and the hood, okay? And they were consistent with the, the bullets that actually hit FBG Duck, okay? Also, they have proof that these guys owned or were familiar with driving this vehicle because they have other videos of these guys online posed up with the vehicle then, okay? They got motive. These two were beefing or these two people in their respective gangs were beefing, right? Or not two people because it was a bunch of people. These two factions were beefing and basically this beef has carried on for a long time and this is exactly what the FBI is pretty much, you know, um, charging and they're going to go to court with. OK, they got one of these guys, right, who's in, involved in another shooting. And also they're pretty much saying that they're still 
uh, investigating this to see if this was paid for, if, if they could figure out who made the call. They haven't unsealed or arrested anyone that we know that would be that particular person, but they're saying the people who are the shooters and the drivers, which include Muwap, okay? They're saying he was in Ford Fusion. They're saying Liggins was in um, the, the goddamn Chrysler. They're saying they're in custody, and they're saying they caught him in 4K. They caught him running down the stairs from O Block, running to the car. They caught him on surveillance, getting into the car. They caught him seven times r running through red lights and intersections, trying to get to the spot where, where uh, um, FBG Duck was. And then they caught him getting out of the car, shooting. Then they caught him getting back in the car. Then they caught him running eight more lights to get back to O Block. Pretty much open and shut, clay, uh, shut, uh, shut case. I don't see these guys getting out of this, but... I'll keep you guys updated. You hear the mom of FBG Duck pretty much saying this was the dumbest hit she's ever seen. Well, she, I guess if she wants to see justice in the criminal system, it looks like it was going to happen. I don't think these guys would be in this case at all, okay? They don't need for nobody to snitch. I didn't know that there was this many cameras in Chicago because, damn, why don't they arrest more people? Like, if, if, if what the feds are saying, they got a camera of, of footage of everything, why don't they arrest more people? Anyway, get a guy, Mark Spencer, you guys like them, subscribe to more academics. <sighs> gonna get tough man and i like muam's music it's crazy he went out like this more academics Come on. and if he was out there drilling I ain't no proof of it so no tweets no proof no nothing okay but i can tell you something about tuka he carried a pocket knife in his little pocket like this big that's all he had was a little pocket knife i want to give a heavenly birthday to TB, y'all know I'm his Biko. Terry Berry, his birthday was just the other day. So I want to give him a happy heavenly birthday. Um, See, it's a lot of police shit on here because a motherfucker going to say your son killed somebody too. Who? Who duck killed? For everything on the internet, who the duck killed? Name somebody duck supposed to kill. Right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Goofy ass. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Okay. Okay. Shout out to the Young Dog family. I'm glad they gained justice too. They caught the motherfuckers that took that man away from his family and his wife and his kids. Like, I don't know. So, let me say. Read it already. Mm -mm. I'm smoking marijuana, baby. I don't even like saying I'm smoking Reggie. Because I'm like, Reggie? Who the fuck was Reggie? Was he a, Was he dead? Yeah, but it was cool when people was just smoking Reggie. Y'all doing the real people's name. I mean, regular weed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nah, but this, 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 that Zah. Okay. Now. Okay. And y'all put two and two together. Y'all look at all them videos of motherfuckers who was happy Duck got killed and they was celebrating and they talking about the shit fucked me up. I couldn't even sleep that night. <laughs> Hold on, let me say something. Then you got the other goofy dude in the back. Y'all know who he is, big goofy. He look gay as hell too, light skinned little goofy bitch ass nigga. Sorry, uh, big capo for talking about your son like that. No love. I mean, nothing personal, but you saw what he did, so I got a right to do that. Anyway, um. Motherfuckers was happy. They was doing their dances. They was doing this and doing that. But see, same thing make you laugh, gonna make you cry. 
Because this is why they was happy. Let me tell y'all why they was happy. Y'all ready? Y'all keep them cash apps coming too. I'm going to tell y'all why they was happy. And it's called 15 Seconds of Mayhem on Gold Coast. FBI affidavit lifts curtains on FBG Ducks murder case. They telling it all, right? At first, they was just telling y'all a little shit. They telling it all now, but check this out. It said, and this came from today, January the 28th, 2022, at 5.06 this, this afternoon. I was actually doing my interview with Big D the Mogul from Dallas. Shout out Big D in the building. I was when this was dropped. So, so God gonna move. It said the documents lay out key evidence that led to last year indictments against five alleged Oak Block Street gang members now accused in the blazing killing. It also points to the so-called ditch track, this track, which have fueled street violence. So dead bitches got them net press on. Huh? Dead bitches, that song had them depressed because them people that shot my son was a family member of them people. So it was personal to them. You know what I'm saying? It says, it has a picture of me holding up Duck's plaque. And it said, the broad daylight Cold, listen to this, y'all. I don't want y'all to miss a beat, okay? Listen. The broad daylight Gold Coast murder of rapper FBG Duck in August 2020 involved four mask shooters who left 38 bullet cases behind following an attack that lasted all of 15 seconds. According to to the newly unsealed federal court records. Okay. Listen to this. King Russ, thank you. I got it. Much of what happened that day. Listen to this, y'all. Much of what happened that day at the murder scene on Oak Street and everywhere else as the gunmen near. Y'all here, they got the recording of them pulling up on Duck. Listen. Was captured on video according to the 45-page document, which includes an FBI affidavit. It lays out key evidence that led to last year indictment against four alleged old block street gang members now accused of the Bays and Killer. It says investig world's dumbest. It says investigators told a car used in the shooting one day after it happened. I mean, burn the car, at least that would have stalled it a little bit. You burnt it, but y'all let it get told. Thank you. Um, a day after later searched it and found. Evidence that implicated Charles C. Merch Lines. The document also points out 